It being a black folks, and there's the boring shot. There's Earth. Everything fine. Uh, don't really know what we ob which object we're looking at because we're from behind. But we'll know which object that is pretty soon there. That's not going to be doing big mystery there on, on the behind shot. What they always pee off is the idea that why when they're showing the kids that are learning astronomy or anybody that doesn't really know too much about looking at these cameras, why do they show you this shot upside down? When Navy they go ahead and look at it the proper way all the time. And oh finally the whoever's spying on what I'm looking at all the time decides to pull There we go. So remember that's Venus there. Okay. And that should be and that's not Mercury, okay? And it's probably Mars. It's probably a good shot of Mars right now just before. But if not, and that's what I'm wondering is pretty soon here Mars will be directly behind the sun and we won't be able to have very good bounce bounce. But see I think NASA's been lying to you about that. The factual, they're scared that they don't want to have anything cut off. They don't want to have the rover get stuck doing something. So there is going to be a point in time where they're probably just because, but if they get enough action and then what we got there would be interesting. But as far as right now, that's something they can look into in the next couple of days. But I plopped you in on that and that, you know, odds it probably Mars, not fossil, not positive. And then we have that up there. So I'll be keeping an eye on that in a couple days. The other shots right now are not coming in right now very good. And we're over here, we got a hell of a shadow on our comet that we've got up there. And then I'm going to factually take you really quick all the way. And it's got a really big shadow, you see? It's got a really big shadow. And what I was going to do is I'm going to load, load up the 20, I got the 22nd here. I got the 21st too then. I must have lined them up. Now remember, this is not the sun over here. The sun is over here, way over here behind this shader, way the heck over here in front of Earth and so forth and so such. Okay, that's not the sun. That is a bunch of blinging that we got going on. That would be Uranus. That's probably over by Jupiter. Okay. Jupiter is the closest thing in this shot around the corner, around the band, because there's such wide, big pie circular out in space. And then basically what's very interesting when we're looking here is the shadow that's on that there planetoid object that is up by Saturn. And I'll take you to 400 really fast. Make you understand this. Now. When you see this shadowing that you're getting, you're getting that shadowing there, and that shadowing there, and yep, more than likely one of our meatballs is up over in that area because the factual, like I was just showing you here, in a very astute, smart person, when I was showing my stuff, I like it when some, now I noticed it, but I, it's cool when I, because I was saying, hey, we're getting the shadow of Venus in our shot. This is A, this is a head, this is one of the ace arrays, ace array, okay? So factual, we've got sunlight, we've got a super giant star sun up here behind Venus somewhere, and then it's making Venus do a shadow behind this, or, you know, towards the sun. You see that shadow going towards the sun? Okay, so then factual, when we're looking over here at this, What's the next closest thing over there? So light curvature wise, remember, the sun's over here. This should be the brightest side. Okay, so we got meatball action, plus we also have more than likely a super, and they, we always do. We always have super giant suns that are over there. Now remember, this is not the object that I was showing you before saying that was coming clockwise around the sun because Saturn does not come clockwise around the sun. Saturn rotates counterclockwise. That means, yes, Saturn is actually, the satellite's moving. Saturn's actually moving this direction, this direction, okay? It's just like Earth, counterclockwise around the sun. Because factually, in this shot, 
remember that the sun is to the left and all this bling bling action is light, more than likely hyperbolic, or a neutron star that's up there towards, around by Jupiter, so forth and so on. That's why when you're looking over at our other shots, okay, this is from the 21st, you're going to still see that there's action going on up behind the solar panel. Same neutron or, or hyperbolic star, doesn't really matter, light curvature. And then you can see the exaggerated shadow on that right there. So you know that there's a meatball in the area. And then that's why we get shaded on Earth from extra star action is because the meatballs do it. They deflect the light from a lot of the supergiant stars from other directions. So that's actually a good sign. Those meatballs, and I, I, if you last few videos or so, you've, you've probably seen, and actually I might have a data video that I didn't load up yet that I will. Uh, so no matter what, our comet that we have found, in which spaceweather.com or nothing like that, I don't believe has been talking about it, and I'm gonna actually going to pop over to spaceweather.com and see if they've been talking about it, because this thing is moving so fast, and as we get over to our footage of looking at how fast it's moving, i.e., that's how fast it's moving. So that's the freshest footage you're going to get right now for the 22nd, in a movie frame anyway, of that comet with its big ass head, because that thing is not small. Okay? Just so you actually know that that's what we're at. Now, the, the, the cool thing here is they're looking at or basically factually giving you. Uh, some coordinates on some other objects that they don't either want you to see or they're talking to other scientists and they're saying look at here look at the deal and probably kind of like agreeing with what I've got to say is they're looking at an angle okay this would more than likely be the path of what we know for comets that would be coming this is an angle you see an actual factual plus at the same time they might be hiding something that they don't want you to see so factual that at an angle, that's what more than likely what we would want to or would normally see for the comet coming around the sun because the sun's over here to the right, okay? This is not the sun over here. And like I'm saying, this is a supergiant star and sun. So this comet rotates around these supergiant suns here. And that's what they're realizing too. And NASA's realizing. And they're finding boundaries out here because they're giving you a latitude with Saturn. And this comet is going around and rotating around these supergiant suns there that I've been telling you factually about. And then remember when we're looking at the magnetical, remember how big that factually, and when I'm showing you this shot here, and I'll find it real fast again as I go through my shots, not worried about re-editing this video right now, but no matter what, the biggest shadow, the big ass shadow there, and then what we've been showing you on the magnetical of what Pluto is the size of the Pluto, and then realize how far away this comet is, and realize how damn big it is, and then remember how I've been trying to beat it in everybody's head about how big, see how small they make it look, because they're zoomed way the hell out. Damn thing is hella huge. Look at Earth. That's Earth right there. This thing was bigger than Earth, and that's what I was trying to tell everybody. The factual is Ison was absolutely, I mean, uh, excuse me, uh, Pan Stars. Pan Stars was absolutely not a comet. Now, Ison, you don't have really nothing to worry about. It's just the idea that we might get some extra light on Earth because it might be hella huge because they've been talking about how flipping bright it is. Okay, so we got a hell of a lot of earthquake action going on, and I'll just blow this up again too from the 22nd real fast and go in on the comet there. And there's what, what you got going on. So that is more than likely Pluto's magnetical. And anybody else that was saying that it might be Neptune or this, nope, not in this shot. You got more of a chance of Neptune and so forth, and not those other objects because the factual of what I'm showing you when they're showing you this which I gotta get down in size. I think this is where they're giving you the angle. Remember the distance and the angle that they're showing you out there in space. Okay, because they're giving you an angle. This thing rotates around super giant stars and there's way more than one. And more than likely, I'm probably dead on that that might, more than likely, you're looking, you're seeing Rigel Cantaris A and B out there which is basically Alpha Centauri A and B out there. And yes, that's why they confuse you all with Betelgeuse 
and but it's basically Bataglus. Bataglus, that's how you say it. Bataglus, not Beetleju Beetlejuice. That's Hollywood spoof, boof, poof, poop telling you about Bataglus. They're basically trying, to, we're trying to let you know in the shadows that there actually is a planet out by Alpha Centauri BB. Now, basically, the earthquake action here, not really going to go to the graphs, but you go to my new news blog that I got. I do even put the earthquake, a couple of the earthquake links there for the graphs and so forth and so such. And then also the news of, of dozens of die in Bangladesh, building collapse and earthquake rocks, Afghanistan and China struggles. And Szechuan there, but I guess that got messed up with the link will work. And then factual, everything that's going on. Uh, you know, basically a lot of truth in here. Okay, remember, I'm the fact. Truth is PSYOP. So there's a lot of PSYOP, and basically I let you know when something looks like a bunch of BS. I make a little notation, and you got some false flag stuff to watch for here because they're pulling some crap, it looks like. Could get some more BS going on. And then the factual is this. This is an interesting story here. Okay, so go to my news link, and that's always on the right hand side when you go to my channel and go over and basically remember there's a lot of videos. This thing here shows you about the new news channel I got going up, and then the other ways. In, in, CISPA is terrible. Okay, CISPA is awful, and then pay attention to. Uh, you know, everybody's got their life busy, you know, that's my life busy thing there because life is always busy because there's always a thousand thieves. Okay. So a lot of stuff interesting. Go back and see some of these videos because a lot of factual, evidential. Uh, I really won't probably plop news videos in here much in, until we get PSYOP BS like you've had that was going on in Boston and Sandy Hoax. Remember, that blast didn't blow those chairs over, but boy, it sure blew these people down. And it's just a bunch of hoax arama, a bunch of Hollywood seeing how much PSYOP they can pull on the world and on the country. So didn't work very good because there's a major majority. And this 90% are in favor of gun background checks. That's a bunch of ho-ha. Ho-ha. Boo BS. So actual facts. And remember, you can get to the the my uh, news web here link here by going on the right hand corner. I'll go up here and get my yep. And basically, right here is the the news report. The bottom right, the bottom right. Okay, this is my old super giant one telling you about the Fuka fudge up and the CPM warning for females if they're carrying. If you're pregnant, go there. Read that warning. And then here, for all the news, and there's tons of news there, folks. Those links are just fresh all the time. They always get added. I have an automatic, everything that's a good news story out there from around the world that's any kind of big, when it gets so many hits on the Internet from a lot of people, boom, the news hits there. The stuff you want to know, not the boob tube, okay? And then you got this here and this here to take care of securing your Internet traffic. CISPA sucks. CISPA sucks the big dog turds, any turds, okay? Now, we're going to have a C, and then you, you can see the psyoptical. I get a little love here because I told them I don't, I don't really like the guy because basically I haven't met him. And the factual is he has never invited me on his show. So invite me on your show, dip do. Otherwise, I like your show, and I mentioned that. So anyway, that's how much... They swamp my, but, uh, so, with you know who that I, you know, you watch my videos, so, the actual fact that, you know, the word gets around, and I have a lot more hits and a lot more, and I could even show you on my analyticals that I have a lot more people that go to my channel than my, uh, just don't ever, you know, we already know about the, the record companies that have been helped out with, uh, the counts to make their record sales good. Now we're going to get a C, I mean a, a really high C or M, and maybe even, like I said, we're, we should sooner or later get an X. And it's, get, it's you're going to get something today, folks. We'll get something today. I'll go ahead and give you the absorption too. It's going. I remember B side's pretty calm right now. There is something up above Earth here because you got a CME reactive flare up here that we got up here by my arrow. So keep an eye. Proton absorption in megahertz, we're getting some nice feed. Sun's loaded up, we're gonna get an M.